All right, traders, welcome back. My name is Fausto from Cybertrain University. I want to catch up and do a quick video on Kodak. Um, if you've been watching our channel uh, and you've been watching us on our morning cyber group meetings, just click on the bottom. If you haven't done already, like us on the bottom and you'll be able to watch them. I'm just, I'm just going to bring one over here pretty close with you. Uh, this was yesterday's video that I'm bringing up really quick. And you could see Kodak was up about 325%. You could see we also traded Fran. You know, views are starting to pick up. Um, got a lot of likes. I don't know why anybody would not like it, but, uh, but this was actually yesterday's view and want to kind of talk about what's going on right now. And if you basically had been watching that video, here's the second part. You could see Kodak now when we watched it, it was down around, it was, oh, it looks like Kodak reopened yesterday. up again. Yep. Pat. And, uh, from having that price right there at that price, you could see it right now is at 30. It just opened up. It got halted. Now, when you look right here, I'm just going to bring this up really quick. Some of the great tools that we use at Cybertrade University is we use the NASDAQ Book Viewer. You could see big block buyers coming up over here, keep bidding it up. Look, it just got halted again. It's at $31. It looks like the CEO is coming on Fox Business right now, which probably is going to cause the stock to move pretty well. Um, you can look up the news. I'm not here to give you the news, but it was touted big. What's going on with the deal that, that the Governor Cuomo signed with the president to get Kodak to do to take a lot of the work away from China, as in with the medical stuff, people probably don't think of Eastern Kodak. Look, you think they would still do the Polaroids, but no, they're they're they became a very big, uh, how can I say, conglomerate. They they're in a little bit of everything, and you could sure enough, it's doing pretty well. But what I also want to point out is I want to bring this up. Um, you could see right here, Kodak is um, the stock right here over the course of the day started. Um, oops, wrong stock. I apologize, not the wrong one, and the stock is halted. Uh, there we go. Let's bring this up right here. So you can see the stock got halted. You see blanks, 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 blanks. That means the stock got halted several times, actually more. One, two, three, four, five. Six times the stock got halted today. And we've been trading the stock all the way down. And let me bring this up here for you. All the way down here in pre-market, we've been trading it. Um... I'm only going back to 915. But if I go to my trading room, you could see right here. And let me bring this up. Here's our pre-market at 758 in the morning. And you can see Kodak is right there. And you can see that we're talking about Kodak, a lot of students. at This is an hour and a half before the market opened up. And we've been trading it ever since. Grant, uh, worth watching. Nice call this morning. Uh, resistance levels at 15. You can see people just calling trades over and over again. Um, I was up about a buck, a buck three, and Kodak still climbing. This was at 8:25. Um, I could scroll all the way down here to the morning, and you could see Kodak, 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 Kodak. And the crazy part: we're trading at 17. The stock is already at 32, and it's still climbing. So when it comes to trading, cyber traders. Uh, and fellow traders, day trading, it helps you to become more of a swing trader, more of an investor. There are so many stocks like Kodak, all right? So please don't don't think like this is the last straw, whatever it is. But if you like that video I posted yesterday and you want to know, how do we know the stock was going to go up? Who ran it up? Why is it still going up? Like us. Watch the video we watched, it did yesterday. and then And then also we have a bunch of other videos that will explain to you you know, how to follow the dominated market makers, how to follow the supply and demand. You know, you like you might love the news, but you're going to love more to know why these things are running up and making support and resistance levels like they do. So with that said, um, traders, you know, if you want to learn more, like us, friend us, join us every morning here at 9 a.m. in the morning and get this watch list. If you want to learn how to trade today's markets, because with today's coronavirus and what's happening in today's world, working from home, depending on a stimulus package, what do you want to do? That's a waste of your time. Go out there because this one trade probably could have paid your whole probably yearly income uh, salary just on this just on this one stock alone. But don't worry. There's a lot more like Kodak's going to happen. And guess what? I got news for you. There's going to be more Kodak's out there because after because you are come stepping into one of the biggest and most best uh, – uh, I hate the word best – but biggest catastrophes in the trading industry, and unfortunately, catastrophes do make uh, opportunities. If you've been around the financial crisis to, uh, 2000, if you've been around the uh, uh, the internet bubble, if you've been around the uh, 
the flash crash, 9-11, and now the coronavirus, guess what? This is going to be around for a while. So you better start learning now so you can benefit and make and, and jump into stocks like Kodak. Thanks for watching. Like us. Look forward to seeing you watching some upcoming more videos here at Cyber Trade University. Happy trading, everybody.